edge of the pack. Wolves did suffer disappointment yesterday when Kenny Hibbett sustained a leg injury in training, so he's not there, but Wayne Clark is fit again to slot into the vacancy. And John Richards, back from a loan spell at Derby, is named a substitute. Barnsley have had problems with their attack. Two central strikers, Tony Cunningham and Carl Airy, are unfit. Winston Cabell is on loan to Doncaster. So Ian Moores, recruited this week on loan from Bolton Wanderers, makes his debut, and he'll play alongside Derek Parker. There's a little bit of a breeze here at Oakwell, but I must say the pitch is looking in excellent condition. Strange to think that uh, less than 20 miles away, Ellen Road is unfit and said to be waterlogged. Wolves playing in those famous old gold shirts and black shorts, Barnsley red and white. Today's referee, Norman Wilson from Morecambe. Now, with the wind as it is, I would think Ian Banks might well try his luck from this sort of distance because he really can blast them. And he does. What a cracking effort as well from Banks. Didn't clear the bar by a great deal. Clark's worked a very good ball through to Smith, the first real clear opening, and Smith takes it superbly. 1-0 to Wolves, Gordon Smith gets only his second goal for the club, and he took it so calmly. We can see the ball that set it all up, coming from midfield, and it was Wayne Clark who pierced the Barnsley defence with that through ball. Gordon Smith running through, accepting the chance sublimely. McCarthy, huge throw on the wind, away by Andy Gray. Not a Wolves player within 50 yards of that ball, and Chambers received it. Looking down the middle for Moore, so it could come off the back for Banks, who's got the equaliser, an element of fortune. It came off Jeff Palmer, and within two minutes of Wolves taking the lead, Barnsley level. Phil Chambers, the club captain, sets it up. Long, looping ball, but look for the element of fortune here. Jeff Palmer turns, he's in two minds, it strikes him on the back. And then when Banks gets the shot in, it even comes off Palmer's boot. But it counts, 1-1. One, one. Parker's beaten this time by Dodd. Gets Glavin going. Seen a lot of Ronnie Glavin in this first half. Now Banks. Cross for Parker, here comes Glavin, surely to make it 2-1, but for Berridge. Again, the best of Glavin. He can be so quiet in a game, Glavin, and then he explodes. First of all, he slides the ball out for Banks, and then watch as Banks crosses, Parker nods it down, and who's running onto it but Ronnie Glavin? Can't quite squeeze it home, though. Eves turns well inside Joyce. This was uh, Rudge. What a good interception, though, by Joe Joyce. Can't quite get through, but uh, all credit to Humphrey there, and all credit to Chambers here. Keeping Andy Gray at bay. Ronson, what a superb ball for Glavin. Is he in for the second? No, he's not, because Burridge must have come 30 yards off his line there. Good goalkeeping from John Burridge. Chambers looking for balls there. And here's Parker. Glavin wanted the pass, it didn't come to him, but he's getting it now from Chambers, and he's inside the area, wriggles free. Chambers screws it across, it's up the line by Palmer. And Glavin holding things up, using his skill to get Chambers there, took a deflection, Palmer cleared it away. Long searching ball again. Oh, what good control by McCarthy. Took it on the instep and fed Barraclough superbly. Just perfect centre back play. 
Walker had quite read that one right. Uh, Chambers wasn't quite there. Left for Gray. Smith has to bring the ball back, though. Not a lot of support for him. Law very happy to send that one into touch with eight minutes of the first half left. That challenge by McCarthy on Clark has really hurt him. Only a lecture for McCarthy as Wolves prepare this uh, free kick with Dodd. And it's uh, once again McCarthy who seems to get everything out of that penalty area. Lavin. Asking Parker to chase down the left hand side. Lavin himself going down the middle. There's Ronson. Oh, and he's done well to get the ball through for Barakla. Two men at the far post. Very just sure. Morse comes in. What a fine save. But was that ball over the line? As Berridge made the save, it looked to me as though he almost carried it over the line. Barraclough takes it on. But watch out for the goalkeeper. As Barraclough knocks it back, Morse comes in, gets the header. There's Berridge. But certainly not over the line there. Now Humphrey. So it's Wolves coming looking for that uh, leading goal as we go towards the whistle. Glavin. Two minutes then to go of this first half. Joyce hitting a long, long ball. It's just going to be too long, I think. Burridge outside his area handled it. No question about that. And that must be certainly a booking. John Burridge Burridge standing right on the edge of his line as Wolves and Barnsley players chase back there is Burridge no doubt he's outside the area and handles it he's got a booking and no more so can Barnsley get themselves into the lead having been a goal down at one stage Obviously a work move this one with Glavin and Ronson standing over the ball. Just a minute to half time. One imagines that Banks might rattle it in, which he does. But wide. Well, John Burridge will feel that he's been let off, I'm sure, there. No question he handled the ball outside the area, and so many goalkeepers this season have been dismissed for that. That's a good ball from Ronson, now Joyce, trying to assert uh, some Barnsley pressure, he's got that ball through for Moores, back for Parker, hits it in, a good low effort from Derek Parker, that one could have curled in. That's a good header from Law, managed to direct it from Banks, and now here's Parker, Let's see if he's got the pace to outrun Dodd. Might be trying to tee himself up. He did, in fact, uh, got the shot in. Came off a Wolverhampton defender, so it's now left to Ronson. Several men up there, and Wolves only got three central defenders. Here's Glavin. Still Glavin. Just to switch it for Joyce. Plays the early cross. Here's Moores. It's just not falling right for Barnsley there. Wolves breathe again. Clark directs a good header through. McCarthy saw it. No Ronson. No more law. For the second time in a few moments, Parker gets the chance to run at Dodd. Again, he has to bring the ball back inside. Gets it through for Banks now, who's not Matthews off it. All tried to squeeze it in the near post. And a lovely little ball here as well. As Parker comes through, it just nudges it between Dodd and Matthews. Pank shoves Matthews off the ball and tries to squeeze it in the near post. That's the header from Clark to Gray. No way through that forest of legs. So over on the far side, Chambers gets his head to the ball. It's 
Smith will allow it to run out. And Humphrey will come up to receive the throw. With Rudge inside him. Here's the youngster. He whacks it in. And the Wolves players have their arms in the air. I think they were convinced that Dale Rudge had scored his first ever goal. Humphrey plays it straight across the pitch to Rudge. He hits it first time. And that's a fine save from Pierce. Levin has got it cleanly. And Parker. Joyce, oh, looking to support Banks. What a good ball it was to Parker, who's turned inside the area and maybe just dallied too long there. And the flag is going to be up against Ian Moores, no matter what he does. The referee actually allowing play to go on, and the linesman has now put his flag down, and Mr. Wilson never saw it. Norman Hunt's are clearly unhappy. I think he really wants to see more urgency from his side. They're the home team, the onus is on them. And now they are coming at Wolves, but Joyce taking that ball too far ahead of him. And Palmer has played it down the line looking for Eves. Well, Barnsley uh, pressurised themselves really there. Wolves very much a 90 minute side, they never say die and uh, they'll be looking for a, something late on in the game here oh, it's good play Parker's pass to Banks clips it down for Moores who turns well and feeds Banks again Parker just lost his footing crucially then so Chambers has to take it up floats it in for Glavin it's away though by Humphrey Well, given away by Humphrey this time, and Chambers, Moores at the back post, knocks it through, Moores, and oh, it must be a goal! It's a winner for Barnsley! Derek Parker takes the acclaim of the crowd, a defensive muddle, Ian Moores, who's done well on his first appearance, gets it there, he gets it a second time, and despite the mix-up, Burridge can't hold it, Parker tucks it in. Barnsley leaving it late, but a good three points for them.